Hey everybody, what's going on? So, getting the season started here. I've got my three plants. Got a guava kush. A uh, fresh air, it's called. And I forget what the third one... Oh, starberry cough. So, we'll see. Those are the strains I was able to get in clone form this year. And they all said that they had uh, pretty good yields, so let's hope on that. The other thing I wanted to talk about is my garage floor. Dirty, huh? Just okay. The other thing I wanted to talk about was the fertilizer that I'm going to choose. I'm not going to go and do the $600 super soil recipe that I said I was going to do in the last video because I'm grow for less, not grow for $600. So what I ended up doing was just going with the Roots Organic Formula 707. It's got everything you need in it uh, to for a base soil. And uh, as long as you add a nice fertilizer to it, after a few weeks of veg growth, you'll, you'll get good results is what I'm told. But... Uh, I also wanted to talk about the fertilizers that I'm going to use. You've all heard the story about the Native Americans teaching the pilgrims to throw a fish in the hole before you plant your corn so that uh, your corn will grow better. And the reason for that is because fish have all kinds of micro and macronutrients in them. They... Uh, the bone meal, the blood, the meat, just everything about the fish is beneficial plant growth. So um, what they did was they went and they made fertilizer out of fish. And that's what we have here. Fish fertilizer. 511 organic. Omri listed even. This is Alaska brand fish fertilizer. And what this is, is uh, they take fish... They take the scraps of the fish after they've cut out the good parts, you know, to, to sell at market. They've taken out the fillets. They've taken out the fish meal. They've taken out all of the good stuff. But the skeleton and some of the blood and some of the meat still remains. And what they do is they boil it down and they make it into fish emulsion. And that stuff's pretty good. You know, I used it uh, the year before last for veg when I had... Uh, problems and the veg uh, nutrients I was giving didn't seem to be doing the job. I would supplement it with a little fish fertilizer and it always worked really well. Um, so I was doing a little bit of research and I found fish fertilizer is great, but what we have here is called... a fish hydrolyzate, not boiled, rendered, and separated semi-fish based product like others. Our kelp is the purest. Okay, so what this guy has is it's got fish, but instead of boiling the fish down, it's got, uh, it, it still has the nicer parts of the fish, you know, so it's still got the fillets, it's still got the fish meal and they take that fish and they put it in a solution with enzymes that can break the fish down and make it bioavailable in soil. So that's what they've done. So this product is fish that's been broken down enzymatically into a hydrolysate instead of boiled down into a fish emulsion. So a lot of the heat sensitive um, components of the fish like some of the uh, some of the different vitamins and some of the different minerals that can be found in fish uh, that are heat sensitive that would be boiled out in fish emulsion are not boiled out in fish hydrolysate because they don't use heat so and this particular one Indian River Organics is the one I found this is a fish hydrolysate plus they had a kelp um, uh, fertilizer that they sold uh, and they just went ahead and mixed it together. Now fish hydrolysate is going to give you all of the major nutrients you need um, in abundance and it's also going to give you uh, a few trace elements that you need for proper plant growth. But kelp 
is going to give you absolutely every micronutrient you need. It's got absolutely everything in it. It's got copper, zinc, you know, manganese, and all this other crap that you just really don't typically, uh, uh, you know, deal with unless there's a problem with your plant and it's, uh, it's something that is uh, definitely based on one micronutrient deficiency or too much. Uh, you just never hear about it otherwise, but kelp just has it all. It's molybdenum. I, I like. I I was reading the the ingredients in kelp, and molybdenum is one. And I just fucking yeah. I didn't even know that that existed. So, um, yeah. Uh, so I'm gonna go cheaper with the with the Roots Organic 707 soil. I'm going to use the fish hydrolysate instead of the fish emulsion. Um, and we're gonna see how it goes this year. This is gonna be all I use, uh, the fish hydrolysate through flour and veg and flour. Uh, and we're going to be using the, the Roots Organic 707. I also got a bag of Fox Farms Ocean or Happy Frog to top off the bags because those, uh, those Roots Organic bags are three cubic feet and I needed 3.3 .3 cubic feet per bag. So I uh, got another cubic foot of Fox Farms uh, to, to mix in just to, to bring the soil up to level. So, yeah, uh, that's what we're going to be doing this year. You saw the plants. You saw the soil. Now you're seeing the fertilizer. This is what we're doing this season. No sponsorships. Just doing what I want. And, uh, yeah, we're going to see how it goes. Uh, so, looking forward to it. Looking forward to not growing something with... Um, uh, synthetic fertilizers like I did with the nuke heads even though the nuke heads really is a nice synthetic fertilizer It worked really really well, uh, and if you don't mind using synthetic fertilizers, I would absolutely recommend it uh, But I want to try going the organic route this year and see what comes of it so hopefully you guys stick around and uh, See what happens with me and uh, yeah, I'll talk to you later. Bye